I haven't, I've only seen a few of these, but uh, I haven't opened any of these. I mean, I've seen these before, or, you know, a couple of these before, but it's been a while. So bear with me the fact that it's uh, been a little while anyway. But uh, I, I uh, want to show you some of the stuff that I got. Some that will start a new collection, or a new series collection anyway. And some that I just, you know, thought, because certain characters were in here, and I thought, well, you know, it'll work. It'll work for me. The first movie I want to show you is a movie from 1985, I believe. Yes, 1985, from Five Star Pictures. It's called Real Genius, and it's with Val Kilmer. And, uh, yeah, I tell you, you know, I, I, I have watched this movie, and it really is the symbol of the 80s, you know? I know Sean uh, C. Phillips and uh, MJ Kelly always talks about the 80s and how if you haven't lived through the 80s or the early 90s, you don't know what you're missing, you know? <laughs> and this is one of the movies that, you know, was big in the 80s, and it still is big. People remember this, uh, you know, early Val Kilmer. I have a movie that I, I, I watched with them called Top Secret, which was just, well, it's just okay, but I think this would probably be a lot better. Top Secret is more like a parody movie kind of thing. You know, kind of make a gun type of parody kind of thing. Anyway, but this, you know, it was five bucks. At, where did I get this at? I think I got this at Best Buy. I think. I don't remember. I know, I got this at Kmart. Five dollars at Kmart. Because I had like a big five dollar bit of stuff. Yeah, that's what it was. But this is such, this is a very good movie. I definitely recommend it. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail what it's about because I, I I don't really, it's been a while since I've seen it, but I just will say it's a it's your typical 80s movie with your 80s music and your 80s beat rhythm to it. And I tell you what, it's a must see. It's a must see. If you can go out and rent this or if you have ways to buy it, I definitely recommend it. <laughs> so Real Genius, that's the first one. Second one I got. Well, this one I haven't seen. I don't know what it's really about. It looks more like a gangster movie. Almost has that Bonnie and Clyde feel to it. But the only reason why I got it is because there's a notable actor in here who's not around no more. But this is a notable actor, uh, we'll say, in the Goon uh, not the Goonies, but the Gremlins movie, the first one. He played the dad. And uh, he also, this guy was a singer as well. I think around the same time as he was an actor. And who am I talking about? Hoyt Axton. Now, not many people remember Point Axon, but uh, he, uh, well, he was a country musician. I, I think there's a song, there's a song that he's done. It was Bell and a dealer and a dog named Jake and a cat named Calamus. Left the city in a pickup truck, gonna make some dreams come true. It rolled out west where the wild sun sets and the coyote bays at the moon. Bella and the dealer and a dog named Jake and a cat named Kalamazoo. If that cat could talk, what tales he tell about Bella and the dealer and the dog stuff that the cat was cool and never said a moment. This is a, a movie called Dixie Lanes, and it looks like it's a 19, it has set in the 1945, so it's kind of like a, you know, 40s movie kind of, it has that you know, gangster feel or big big band feel to it, 40s feel to it, and the only reason why I got it was because Point Accident was in it. I, you know, it might, might not be a movie I'll watch more than once, but you know what, Point Accident, how many, how often do you see a movie with him in it? Anyway, I'll get to these real quick. A few movie, this movie I got for just four dollars at Kmart, Men with Brooms. This is Leslie Nielsen's movie, uh, some of his latest stuff. Uh, well, I should say latest. Well, 2002. It has to do with curling. So, if you haven't seen it, you let me know what you think. Or if you have seen it, let me know what you think. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, yes. And I got this movie, this next movie, because of a notable actor. Uh, movie called Quicksand. Now, I'm not much of a Michael Caine fan. I mean, he's okay, you know, in my book, just okay. He's not great. You know, a lot of people think he is great. And he's funny, you know. I remember him in the movie The Cider House Rules. How many people remember that movie? Anyway, Michael Keaton was in this movie. 
and I haven't seen it, but I figure, you know, even though I'm more of a fan of Michael Keaton's early years, but I'm also, you know, a fan of his latest work, too. So, quick save. Now, these movies here that I got, uh, well, I have seen part two. In fact, if you remember, if you go back to some of the interviews that I did, I interviewed Dick Warlock, who played Michael Myers in, in Halloween Part Two. Plus, I also interviewed his son, Lance Warlock, who was the boombox boy in, in Halloween Two. Now, who's you know, composing music in Washington, not D.C., but the state. The movies that I'm talking about that I'm starting my collection, I don't have all of them yet. I could find all of them, but I found these four anyway, or these three. Halloween. Halloween Four. Halloween 5. Now, with those movies, I, I haven't really, you know, it's kind of like, the reason why I got it is because I'm trying to get big on horror. A lot of 80s horror, more or less, you know, and 90s horror. Not so much current horror, horror because if you, if, you know, to me, most current horror sucks. It's, it's pretty much the same thing. I think I went on this rap before, you know, one of my other videos saying that because it is true. I mean, it, it completely sucks. It's not the same like it used to be, you know. I mean, sure, the 80s horror and all that, 90s horror was very cheesy, but it made you think. And also made you laugh here and there, you know. And a few other movies that I got, because I, I want to get some animation, some kind of build up my animation collection too. But I also got, uh, to add to my comedy collection, I got the second Harold and Kumar movie called Harold and Kumar Go to Escape from Guantanamo Bay. Now, I've seen the Harold and Kumar go to White Castle many, many times, and I should have bought, because it came, you know, the, the, the other one was nine ninety nine, and this one was only seven ninety nine or $7. It was on sale, so it didn't cost $15, like it says on here. But I, you know, I had it, you know, I wanted to see the Star Trek movie, so I didn't want to spend too much money on DVDs. That's why I got these fairly cheap. So, I haven't seen this one, but it looks like it's almost just like this first one, but maybe even better than the first one. I don't know, you tell me. Leave comments down below, let me know what you think of this one, too. And finally, to add to my uh, ch you know, children's section, see, so yeah, if you're wondering, in my collection, even though it's only 700 DVDs or so, I kind of organize a little bit of everything, from, from a TV show, animation, and whatnot, or, and TV stuff, to like the two or three rows of comedy I got, to sci-fi, action-adventure, wrestling, uh, documentary stuff, you know? So I figured to add to my children's section, we'll say, or, or animation, whatever section, I got a few uh, few titles that you might remember. I got Disney's Tall Tale. Tall Tale. I got An American Tale, Five Will Goes West. I remember Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut promoted the hell out of this. Out of this movie when it came out uh, in 1991. Just like Subway promoted the hell out of this. When Subway first came out, that was one of the first promotions that they had for Tall Tale. And then the last one I got is a UK produced uh, show animation called Wallace and Grumman. Uh, and the thing is called, the episode is called The Wrong Trousers. Now, I've never seen any of this stuff before, but uh, Zarin Isaac recommended me to get, you know, if he said if I ever were to come across it, to check it out. And uh, it looks like it's pretty good. You know, when it comes to UK humor, I'm more familiar with people like Mr. Bean, you know, because I grew up with that, you know, watching that show, you know. But I'm willing to give this a shot, you know. So anyway, I'm Frankie Slauson. Thanks for uh, uh, joining me along for the ride. As far as my apartment goes, I mean... Uh, uh, and all these little apartment videos that I've made. Uh, it's not over with yet, but it's just beginning. So we'll see you when I move to the new location. Peace out.